Hey friends, welcome back. November has really kicked off. I feel like it's my sort of buffer between the festivity and creativity of October and the festivity and also I guess creativity of December. November is a very like sobering back to work month. <laughs> like end of the year, what do we need to get organized and done kind of month. So I'm pretty excited about leveraging this month to get a lot of my sort of ducks in a row for the end of the year and hit some goals. All right, we're back. I got a cough drop because my throat is scratchy. So now we have some green tea and honey. Anyway, um, getting all these YouTube alerts for Christmas content. Today is the 3rd of November. I get it. I really, 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 really am excited about Christmas this year. I think it's gonna be really lovely. But in November, I feel like I really need this buffer between Halloween and Christmas. Like, I need a month to ease into, like, winter mode. November is like, you put away the skulls and the skeletons and the witch hats, but you keep out autumnal fall things, you know? So this week we're just going to be doing a lot of work and sort of setting up for the month. I'm attempting to schedule off certain days and parts of those days to specific projects. So I've actually gone through and made myself like a new project calendar. I'm overhauling my Asana account, reorganizing my to-do list, setting deadlines for myself, and trying to get through a long list of just little tasks that have fallen by the wayside in October, and then some bigger stuff that we need to focus on. So this week is really all about planning for the rest of the month. To make sure after this week I can glance at my project management life management tool which is Asana and know what I need to focus on that day or that week so that I'm consistently moving towards goals so if that's interesting to you stick around because there'll be a lot of that I have to go get ready for a couple of client calls and then a pretty long work session but let's hang out together this week let's get organized let's get some stuff done and we'll sort of kick off November my very chic workday style. My hair is getting pretty long. This is baby. Baby is getting very big. I am really looking huge in this sweater, but it's also the sweater. The sweater is really big. noon on Friday, I had a good meeting with a potential client for a small project, which could lead to future ongoing work, but the key word there is small. As I've said recently, I have a pretty full schedule for client work. Actually, it's full, but we are also moving, so I'm going to be working those nights and weekends to get the extra money for us to move, and I'm actually in a, a working mood right now. Whenever that pops up, I say take advantage of it, book those projects, I actually have a pretty large list today for freelance stuff to wrap up. Usually by the end of the week, I'm pretty much done with most of the big projects, but overall this day has some very good productive vibes. I'm loving it. I'm loving November so far. I know I've already given you my summary of what this month is to me. You know, the productive buffer between October and December. So, so far so good. Let's hope it keeps going. So this morning I ended up doing some prep for Friendsgiving. For the past few years, we've hosted 
visited some friends for Thanksgiving Day. A lot of our friends don't have family here or they don't traditionally do a Thanksgiving dinner, but we like to just have a dinner that day to gather friends. Anyway, I just picked up some placemats, a new linen tablecloth. So the whole table should be like pretty ready for Friendsgiving dinner. We planned our menu. I'm gonna just be practicing some recipes and try to have, yeah, try to host a nice little get together. So today I'm gonna go through some November goals with you guys just to kind of share what I have on tap my squeaky chair and sort of stay accountable for the month. I have organized everything in Asana so I can like show you how I've broken it down uh, and then the rest of the day for me is just going to be computer work. Stay hydrated by the way. So a couple of vlogs ago or maybe it was the last vlog? No, like two vlogs ago I went to the Gustav Klimt exhibition here in the city. I just sort of fell in love with this painting and so I got it on a postcard and I thought it would be a pretty thing to frame just to kind of commemorate this time because we're in the third trimester of my pregnancy and having our little girl in January so I just thought that was really sweet. I don't know this just like makes me so happy and warm and fuzzy so I got a nice frame for it. I actually found this frame on Amazon unexpectedly. It's so luxe and beautiful and heavy. So I'm gonna pop this into this frame and hang it up. I just painted my nails too, so I'm sure I'll be destroying my nails in the process. Um, guys, I might link to this frame because it's so nice. The glass has these bumpers on the edges so that um, it doesn't break when you put it into the metal frame. As I get my fingerprints all over it. I usually keep the backing material for stability. And then we'll slide this back over here. And <gasps> how pretty, how pretty is that? This just makes me so happy. So you can set it like that, or of course I could hang it on the wall. I think I'll hang it over my desk, but that's one of today's little projects. I don't think I showed you guys. This is our ofrenda of this year. We set it up a little bit late, but this is the first year that it includes my family as well as Eduardo's. I think it was nice for both families to mingle. So I just had some leftovers. I think I'm gonna make some tea and then we will walk through our November goals, or my November goals. I am gonna make a um, download for you guys though where you can fill out your goals and your, your goals and then your like, daily or weekly steps. It's a neat little document that I made for myself that I think might help you too, so I will link to that in the description. A giant mug of black tea. So one of the things I wanted to do is show you guys some planning sheets that I created. So I have here my 90 day planner, I have my Asana, which I'll open in a second, I'm here at my laptop. And then I also have these planning sheets that I created a few months ago and I feel like we'll start using them this month finally. Um, so there's the weekly meal plan, the weekly shopping list, plenty of space to write down like whatever you would need to buy that week to create those meals you planned, as well as like any utility stuff you need for the house, if you need to restock toiletries or whatever, and then miscellany. And then finally there's the project plan. So the project plan looks like this, and each week you will track for each day of the week like what you're working on that week. This was just a random thing I made for myself. If you guys could benefit from like a slightly more organized week, I want you to have it too. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can grab these three and then you can print it. The reason I'm printing it by the way, and I know that's like not the most eco-friendly thing, but I do keep these to track week by week. Like if you add the date at the top, you can look back and say, I know I needed these groceries for this meal plan week. I needed, you know, these utilities for this house project or whatever. I like to keep stuff like this when I print it so I don't just, you know, toss it after. Anyway, hopefully that will help you guys too. This little baby, she's getting so big and I'm told this is nothing compared to how big I'm going to be. So that's fun. So let's talk about November goals. 
I'll show you guys my Asana where I've been tracking goals. I created a separate project in Asana that's just for goals. The goal will be to check off all of them before the end of the month. In Asana, you can assign projects to yourself so that they pop up in your inbox in a digest of like everything you have to do, um, which can be very overwhelming. So I set dates to mitigate like the overwhelm. My Asana has hundreds and hundreds of tasks, but the ones that are assigned to me are the ones that get emailed to me in the morning as like a snapshot of my day. So I try to assign deadlines that are um, true, like true deadlines, so that I know what really needs my focus that day. I love to-do lists and I can get really overexcited and try to add a billion things and then when it lands in my inbox, I just delete it because I'm like, I don't even know what to prioritize. So I'm really working on creating dependable <laughs> to-do list type system. Anyway, in Asana, I've listed out my goals, so let's take a look. The categories I've listed them out in are home, career, wellness, which includes like prenatal stuff, freelance writing cafe, which is my online community slash training resource center for freelance writers, Hey Mishka, which is you guys, the blog slash YouTube channel, and then brand, which is um, because I'm sharing my screen, I just left it a little bit vague. I'm working on launching a brand, and that is something that probably won't come to light until next year. I'm taking my time with it. It will be under Hey Mishka. It will be um, physical products, and it's something I'm something I've been building up to like pretty much my whole life but I'm really taking my time with it and right now it's just in like product development stage like the early early stages and then finally miscellaneous so let's dig into the actual goals my first home goal is to declutter the apartment as you guys know we're trying to move another goal is to move but first we really want to go through everything in the apartment and declutter and get rid of as much as we can between the city and Hudson Valley there are so many organizations taking donations for like winter for Christmas Christmas, so I'll be working on that. Organizing my white shelf, which is the shelf right here. Actually, you can see it in the background in the mirror. It's, uh, sorry, getting distracted by my phone. PR emails. Um, the white shelf is so ugly looking in the background because it's just so messy inside. I want to maybe get some matching like containers to put all the stuff in. Just make it look a little nicer. I just, when I walk in here, I want to be inspired to be productive and maybe like snap some photos in my mirror of my outfits. And right now the background just looks like a grid of junk. Deep cleaning the apartment is another one. We are so in need of like a deep clean Every room needs to be thoroughly cleaned. It just needs it because it's been a very busy October. We've been tracking like leaves and debris into the house and or into the apartment. There's a lot. So anyway, yes. And I'll have to probably do this over the course of a week or so because if I'm on my feet all day, I will wake up with the most horrifying leg cramps. If I stand too much during the day when I, I go to sleep and everything and I think I'm fine. And then I wake up with cramps in my legs that could make a grown man cry easily. So to avoid that, I'm going to like divide up the cleaning to a few days. Career and financial, really just to hit the income goal this month. Um, if you're new here, I'm a freelance writer. I have a few like side gigs and things going on, but my main source of income right now is freelance writing. I've been doing it for, I think I just hit 13 years, which is whoa. But I have several clients. I think I've mentioned it even in this vlog, like I'm pretty booked right now. I've been taking on tiny little projects to just try to pass add that income a little bit, hit my income goal this month so that we can move. That's like the biggest thing. And of course, keep my clients happy along the way. So next we have wellness and like prenatal stuff. I've spent most of my pregnancy just kind of going with the flow. I really wasn't able to do much first trimester and second trimester for me was really about getting used to being pregnant. I also got a lot more energy back so I started eating more again. But overall, I haven't been sticking to any like, besides taking my prenatal vitamin and stuff and generally trying to like get some fresh air once in a while. I think I need to have a bit of a routine when it comes to like stretching light exercise, and then also what I'm eating. I haven't been eating that badly, but I haven't been eating that great. So we're talking about like not ordering out at all this month, and we're gonna try to commit to just like cooking really nicely at home and doing some meal prep and just being a little smarter about food. As far as wellness routine, I also just wanna like tap back into some self-care type things I was doing and I was a little better at before I got pregnant. Now that I kind of feel like myself again, I don't know if that's gonna change very soon with third trimester, but kind of feeling pretty good 
could these days, so I want to see what habits I can add to my routine. And then this month I would really like to complete my registry, baby registry, as well as a to buy list of things we're going to be buying for the baby. We're keeping it minimal. I've really been watching a ton of videos from new moms who didn't know what they would need and after the baby had a very specific list of things they recommend both for like having the baby, like labor and delivery and then postpartum. And then like just we'll be setting up the nursery in another apartment but um, getting ready like at least with our list of things we need to purchase before the end of the year. Uh, next is Freelance Writing Cafe, my freelance writing resource center. I'm trying to relaunch my online course as I've probably been talking about since 2020 because that's when I launched the beta and since then I've been trying to formally launch it and uh, you know the only thing holding me back is me. For this month I just want to get the audit of the original beta done so that I know what I need to do to launch it. I've been working on it in piecemeal and I don't really have the bird's eye view of like what I need to do to finish so if I can just get that under control I'll know when is the actual ETA of this course. So that's uh, something I'd like to get going again this November. For Hey Mishka, which is you guys and my blog, I want to do holiday branding. I've had some pretty cute fall branding up for the past couple months. Basically if you look at the header of my YouTube channel, it's just like a nice mauve background and there's some like, like little fall icons. I just want to rebrand for holiday and it's probably going to be similar but with like holiday elements and new colors. I'm trying to think what kind of like pop color I want for holiday and I was thinking like red and pink and gold or something, something cute and festive. So that's one thing I need to work on. I am prepping for Vlogmas. Again, if you've seen any of my recent videos, I've talked about how in October I did a huge load of videos and in December I probably won't do so many because I'm going to be like super pregnant and I don't know, probably exhausted. Maybe I'll be inspired to record all the time, I just doubt it. And I don't really want to put that much pressure on myself. So I'm just going to try to confirm that calendar. I'll show you guys on the screen what I did for October. It was a full content calendar that I planned planned in advance or as the month progressed I moved things around and changed things around based on like what was actually happening. So I'm gonna do that again for December and I've already started the calendar so we'll see how it evolves as the actual month progresses. Then we have the mysterious brand that's being launched which I won't go too much into. I'm just like I'm gonna save that excitement for another day because it's really just in its baby stages right now. And those to-dos uh, revolve around product development and early brainstorming. And in this case, the goal is just to set aside time to do those things. I have a weekly calendar where I break down each of the categories of projects I'm working on and like which day of the week I'm working on, which deliverables, if that makes sense. So like Sunday, my blog newsletter goes out. Tuesday, there's a new video. Thursday, there's a new blog post. Post. and then for freelance writing cafe it's like a different newsletter and blog post combination so almost every day something's going live which is kind of crazy but again the goal is to like batch create and be releasing things in a steady cadence and not having any one day of the week that's like too crazy I'm gonna share a template with you guys for that style of breakdown so that you can sort of organize your weekly projects too so the final category is miscellaneous. The first thing on there is our Friendsgiving gathering, which I've chatted about earlier today. I started planning out the tablescape because that's the most fun thing to me. The goal anyway is to like finish planning out the menu, which is pretty much done, and any other like snacks. I'll be doing my fall cocktails. We have to, you know, create our little guest list, just a few friends we're inviting. And then yeah, just have a lovely dinner with some friends. And then that weekend we'll go upstate to see my family. The next item on this list, and we're almost done, is to get a head start on my holiday shopping. I know I've ranted already about like talking about Christmas at all, because we need the buffer between Halloween and Christmas. November is supposed to be November, but obviously it's a good idea to get a head start on things, right? And I won't lie, I've already purchased, um, I'm a hypocrite here, but I've already purchased some Christmas items, and one of them is right here on the desk actually. I think this is from Free People. This absolutely beautiful like mercury glass ornament. It is so beautiful. I just like have been keeping it out on my desk just to look at it because it makes me so happy. Um, I also got another shape that's like a vintage bulb kind of shape. 
I also bought some like holiday fuzzy socks and a few other things that I won't debut until December or maybe the tail end of November but I had to show you this one because like how pretty is this? Anyway, I'll try to get a head start. I've been really trying to plan carefully what gifts we're giving who. Just trying to be more thoughtful about gifting and then planning ahead and getting it all done. We also have to ship some gifts internationally, so we want to make sure that's, you know, all um, wrapped up as it were early. Um, and then the last thing under this category is just digital decluttering. My PC is a disaster mess of files. That's something you can't do in a month in my case. It's going to be ongoing, but I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. So that's it for my goals. So how I'm handling these goals is basically just transferring them into my 90-day planner. They also in Asana are all marked with a deadline of November 30th. Other more crucial daily tasks with a deadline of that week or whatever will pop up first. It's just a nice system and a nice way for me to see what I'm supposed to be working on. And speaking of working on things, I have to go work on some actual work. I hope that this was somehow helpful or informative. Download the um, templates to create your own meal plan, productivity plan, weekly plan, whatever. I'm going to leave all the links in the description and hopefully we'll have a very productive month. I just put batteries in the acorn lights. So now we will see if they turn on. Ready? <gasps> they do! Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look, each one is a cute little acorn. How cute is that? Well, I can now hang these up either on the mirror or on my desk. but I can't get over it. All right, we have all the meals for the week planned out and then I made a grocery list. Um, that's the list and I transferred it into Asana so that it m it's in my phone so when we get to the store I can just check things off. It's gonna be a lot easier than carrying around paper and a pen. It's Sunday so we're just doing some like getting ready for the week and I'm very low energy, no energy today. I guess it could be daylight savings or it could be third trimester or it could be just the day. Definitely want to do the shelf this week. Like I told you guys, it's such a mess behind me. I'll take you guys shopping and then this evening I'm gonna do some meal prep for the week and just laundry and stuff, so probably not gonna vlog too much of that. So stay tuned for a grocery shopping montage, but other than that, thank you for watching the vlog this week. I hope that it was helpful and that you have a productive week and that you're enjoying November. But other than that, I will see you next week. Bye.